Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. All right, the heat is here. Everybody wanted the heat. Today was your day with temperatures soaring into the 90s in most places in the Treasure Valley. Actually, all places in the Treasure Valley topping 90, some places in the mid 90s. But that cool air is lurking over the border in Oregon, and that will be tracking on in. Some of you folks in eastern Oregon are already feeling the gusty breezes. It won't really cool things down dramatically tonight, but it will. That stir up the wind and then tomorrow the temperature just won't rebound instead of going to 92 or so only 77 and then on Friday we're at 79 degrees plenty of sunshine a refreshing day tomorrow and then on Friday not so bad if we can keep the cloud cover to the east if you're looking for sunshine right now clouds might push through the magic valley from Boise east or but to the west still looking good isolated storms in the valley with scattered storms increasing in the mountains and then on Sunday a good chance of some showers and storms it only shows a 20% chance here but they're going to be widespread it's just really difficult to pin down who is going to get the showers when, but just about everybody will get showers at some time, only in the 70s, before heating back up to near 90 by next Wednesday, and maybe even hotter than that after. Here are the high temperatures today, 96 in Mountain Home, 92 in, in Ontario, 91. Uh, Twin Falls, everybody getting in the 90s, even Pocatello and Idaho Falls, beautiful conditions in the mountains. But we go ahead 24 hours and look at the big change here from 92 to 77 in Boise. Much cooler weather coming in, but more refreshing, a few degrees beyond Below average is supposed to be right around 80 degrees, so well above average today, tomorrow, close to average or slightly below. And here are those wind gusts starting to push through tonight. This is our future wind. This is 950, so just before 10 o'clock. It's kind of interesting. You see all this wind, 31 mile an hour gusts in Ontario, is still showing calm in Boise at this moment. So the front will come through at some point here in the evening and push that wind on through. During the day tomorrow, it's not going to be that breezy. It will be more breezy east of Boise. Temperatures today, beautiful in McCall getting up into the 70s. Everybody enjoying a lot less boats uh, yesterday than they were today. So some nice weather in McCall. Tomorrow looks decent, but it will be cooling down. And then Friday in the 60s, a slight chance for a storm in the afternoon. The big story, though, Saturday and Sunday, scattered thunderstorms are likely. Locally heavy downpours are likely. Thought we might get some tropical moisture and trained into the storm. That storm system may stay just to the far enough to the east of us where it will not affect us. So we're hot and dry right now. That continues. Here's our cold front. This is tracking in from the north and west. That will continue tonight, bringing in those cooler, breezy conditions. This cool weather right here is what will be sliding straight to the east. As it does, it will give us a glancing blow. So cooler weather, but dry conditions. It's this low pressure and another one behind it that will go to the east. And then it's going to drop straight on down right across eastern Oregon and southwest Idaho and stay there for days. Here's the cool weather in the blue showing up, and there it is sagging on in. Here's Friday. You push ahead to Saturday. The green is the showers. Hot weather all around this region, but not over us, with the temperature staying below average on Sunday, keeping it on the cool side with the real heat building to the east and heat building to the west. That will all start to track in our direction, and as it does, we'll see this thing just shrink like an ice cube in warm water. It just disappears, and by next week, we're back into the heat. So my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today does show that again temperatures will be cooler than today, but the sun will be shining just like it did today as well. Near 80 degrees in Vail, 77 uh, to 78 degrees for most of the rest of the valley. And from Boise eastward, some gusty breezes are likely, but the further west you go, some really pleasant weather with a refreshing breeze. Pleasant in Boise County as well, a pine in Featherville near 70, about 65 degrees in the Bacol area with temperatures in the 70s in Riggins. Everybody should see mostly sunny skies in Stanley and Sun Valley. Looks like 67 to 73 after a cool morning that extended for forecast, keeping it in the 70s right through Sunday and Monday and then heating back up. That low pressure is going to come in and uh, it's going to stay here for the weekend. It likes it here. Mm. <laughs> it's like the last four that came in through May. The, Again, the timing's just not great. good on the weekend. Not the best, but you know what? Temperatures in the 70s are nice. Well, yeah. I was here about a week ago. You know, you come here once and you stay. You want to come back. And <laughs> yeah. so we're getting, a lot of L's are hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Thanks.